And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to Red Bay, home of the Junior High County Tournament for Franklin County. I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. We got uh, two big games on tap for you as far as our broadcast is concerned. We got the Red Bay ninth grade girls about ready to take on Phil Campbell. Then it'll be the Red Bay eighth grade boys. They'll be taking on Vina. So big, two big games on our broadcast. Do me a favor, make sure you go to my Facebook page and share this link. The only way you can listen to it live tonight is at WRMGRadio.com. That's WRMGRadio.com. Just rec uh, check on the Red Bay Tiger link. If you're out there joining us on our broadcast, once again, it's an honor to have you on our broadcast this evening here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. If you're out there joining us, do me a favor. We're going to try to get some interviews, Randall. We want a sandwich. We appreciate uh, Dr. Stephen Ray and also Jacks of Red Bay Community Spirit Bank having us out with a hospitality room. And, of course, tonight's food, of course, from 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse in Red Bay. We're going to try to get a word with the coaches. They're talking to each other right now. And I'm going to see if I can uh, jump in here and steal the coach from Peel Campbell away from uh, Coach Mitchell and stuff. Coach, can I bother you? Can I bother you all for a minute? How y'all doing? Good. Hey, I'm going to get you next, okay? Hey. Coach, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Of course, we're broadcasting live tonight. Uh, anybody can listen to it on the Internet, WRMGRadio.com. We'll show this on television. We'll post it on YouTube. You can watch yourself tomorrow. But tell me what uh, we can expect out of your Lady Bobcats here tonight against Red Bay. Um, we usually work on a zone is what we do. Sometimes we mix it up and do a little bit of man, um, press quite a bit. What about uh, have you done against this Red Bay Ball Club so far this year? Uh, we got beat the first game, won the second game, so we've split. So, so this is this game. is for uh, the big one here tonight. Yes, right? absolutely. How long have you been over at Phil Campbell? Uh, this is my fourth year. And where'd you go to high school, college? How'd you end up at Phil uh, Campbell? I went to high school at Lexington, and then I went to college at UNA. Golden Bear down to the line, and now Bobcats. Is this your first uh, head coaching job? At uh, no, I've been here four years. Four years. I coached uh, seventh and eighth grade and ninth grade for a while, and then now I'm just doing ninth grade. Sounds good. We we'll appreciate you. Good luck tonight, okay? Thank you a lot. Jack Ivey live with the Phil Campbell coach. We're going to ease down and get a quick word with the head coach for the Red Bay Tigers, Coach Mitchell. I'm going to join him up here. Well, uh, Coach, uh, a split between the Tigers and Phil Campbell during the regular season. Tonight, uh, a possible trophy on the line this weekend. What you got to do to get a win here in the friendly confines tonight? You got to survive, you know. That's what tournament's all about is surviving. You got to go through the next game. So we just got to play hard, play smart, and hope we come out on top. Well, uh, the difference between the uh, loss and the win, what, what was the difference uh, between the first time you played them and the second? You know, it's hard to say. We didn't execute a lot of things. You know, we shot free throws poorly. We didn't you know, make a couple of uh, easy layups, but at the same time, they missed free throws and layups too. We just we just didn't get it done. Of course, playing at home, uh, how good of an advantage is that? I think it'd be pretty good, but that's when we split. <laughs> they beat us at our place and we beat them at their place, so uh, you never know. I, I thought my memory was correct that we lost over there, so the home court advantage hadn't meant nothing, but uh, you're hoping it will tonight though, right? I do, it was a close game both times. I expect the night to be close. Coach, good luck in the game tonight. It's the Franklin County Tournament, and uh, we appreciate you a bunch. Thank you. Jack Ivey live here with Coach uh, Mitchell. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, I'm going to ease in here and uh, say something to Coach Cash. Coach Cash, I want to do something live live on the air tonight. Why would you want to do that for you? Well, I was, I was going to brag on you a little bit. I was bragging. I said, well, when Miss Kathy had to leave, I said, oh, my goodness, first game or two, we had no fouls up there. Here comes Coach Cash to the rescue. And, you learned it right on the spot, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate it. It means a lot to looking up there at those fouls. Well, thanks, sir. I appreciate it. I found it by accident. Okay. And, but you've been doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. No problem. Thank you. Coach Greg Cash, we're going to join uh, the officials out here as they get ready to talk to the captains tonight. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97. All right, ladies. Spokesman for black, 10. Spokesman for white, 22. Good sportsmanship at all times, okay? All right, good luck. Y'all go back and warm up. Coach legal properly equip. Legal properly equip. Get them to the X. We'll get them in on our whistle. Good luck. Franklin County Tournament here in Red Bay, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey, along with Randall Lindsay. And don't forget tonight's game only online at WRMGRadio.com. So make sure you go share that link right now with some folks out there so they'll know 
about the game tonight. I don't know who we need to get into this conversation here or not, but this looks like a pretty good conversation to get into, right? Uh, little junior high basketball tonight. Are you scouting a little bit? Doing a little scouting. Who are you talking to over here? That's Coach Borden, man. He's my old basketball coach right here. So everything he knows, uh, Coach Borden, you talk Yeah, I think he's forgot a little bit of it, though. <laughs> Especially if they lose, right? Right. <laughs> well, uh, you know, these two teams split. Now, you'd think home court advantage had something to do with it, but that's not correct this time. No, they split it away from both of them one away. Well, that sounds good. And uh, I'm going to talk to the Borden man when you're not around, and I'm going to see if you are able to – grasp what he was teaching. Oh, I did, man. Oh, you did. I was his main man. You didn't know that? It was a good one. Craig was a good one. We we won a lot of ball games for Craig. No doubt about it. Good to see you. Good to see you. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12, TV 97. We're going to head back upstairs and get ready for a little Red Bay Junior High basketball against those Phil Campbell Bobcats. We're at the county tournament. And, of course, we are in Red Bay, Alabama. I know Coach Mara is – we need to loosen up just a little bit. Are you going to be ready for an interview here in a little bit? I don't know. <laughs> you, I think you should be, don't you? Yeah, I'll get him to quit crappie fishing. Now, he 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 got an easy way to lie after basketball. Oh, uh, he will. Okay. Coach, I'll see you in a little bit. Good All luck right. tonight. Thank you. We're going to ease over and get back into the seat. Randall, this uh, new microphone sound okay tonight? Didn't cut out a bit, huh? Stay tuned, we got the tip off. Coming up next, this is Red Bay and Phil Campbell basketball. You know, we got some really, really great sponsors, of course, that are making tonight's game possible. And they include Red Bay Rentals with Johnny Weatherford, Rayburn Massey, your Franklin County Commissioner. For district number three, we got Bay Tree Gift Company, complete gift headquarters there in Red Bay. We're going to turn it over to our starting lineups announcer, Dr. Stephen Ray. Well, there you have the starting lineups for the Red Bay Tigers and the Phil Campbell Bobcats. For the Red Bay Tigers, it'll be Destiny McAllister, Lila Blackburn, Madison Hester, Lydia Miller, and Bailey Bolton. This is ninth grade action tonight. For the ball club from Phil Campbell tonight, it'll be Caitlin Mills, Michaela Baker, Katie Thomas, also Cayman Quinn, and also starting tonight, it'll be Emily Sweeney. Ninth grade action here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. All brought to you by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning. That's Chris and Valerie Mora. Red Bay Carpets with Matt Duncan on the Golden Road by Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. By Miller's Affordable Furniture, Mr. Jason and Terry Miller next to the Frosty Inn and Russell. And yes, they did a little over where you're at tonight. Also, Predator Pest Control, Termite Problems, 20 years experience. See the weather for boys or Red Bay's on 80 deep. There's the tip. Controlled by Phil Camel, and Phil Camel is going to be quickly fouled on the floor. We're live on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Jack Ivey live here. 
on the internet tonight at WRMGRadio.com. That foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Number 22 going to be charged with the foul, and that is Bailey Bolton. Phil Campbell gets it in, and Bolton's got a steal, and she is foul. We're trying to see who's going to get to the finals on Saturday. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, do me a favor, tell your friends to go to WRMGRadio.com, then go to my Facebook page. We've got your link there. You make sure you share it. Tigers into Destiny McAllister. It's up no good. Rebound goes to Phil Campbell. And Phil Campbell, number 22, got that one. That was Quinn. Quinn will get the ball over to the left corner. Taking it down low, the ball lost away and stolen away by Macy Faulkner of the Red Bay Tigers. Five minutes and 26 seconds to go. You got Ivy broadcasting live tonight on your hometown station. Bailey Bolton, top of the key, facing the zone defense. Red Bay and white. The Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats are in their black uniforms. Tigers go to Blackburn. She'll kick it down to Bolton. Now to the right side to Faulkner. Faulkner thought about it. Now Bolton, she'll pull the trigger. It's up and no good. And the rebound by Hester. And the Tigers are reset it up to Faulkner. Faulkner fakes a little bit, dribbles to the right. Now comes back left to Bolton. Today's game, live on WRNG. Brought to you by Tri-State Insurance in Belmont and Red Bay. And there's a nice little shot by Hester up and good. And the Red Bay Tigers have jumped out to a 2-0 lead. Full court pressure by the Red Bay Tigers. Phil Cowell across the timeline. Hester guarding closely out there. Mills and Phil Cowell like to turn it over in that corner. Good job of number three to run that ball down in the corner. That was Emily Sweeney. Now the ball loose in the paint. Picked up there and controlled by Phil Campbell. They'll go to 20. She'll fake the shot. She'll back it back out. That's Katie Thomas. Thomas cross court pass to the free throw line, and the Tigers will commit another foul. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry across the way. 356 88 99. Located on the Golden Road. On the inbounds, free throw line jump and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers again. This time, they're going to go to the line to shoot. Red Bay leads two to nothing. And that foul against Bailey Bolton will be her second foul of the game. Going to the line to be number 22. That is Cayman Quinn. Quinn's first shot is no good. She'll have another one coming. This one is up. It is no good. Rebound goes to Macy Faulkner of the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay on top, two to nothing. Live in Red Bay tonight, we got, of course, the Phil Camel Lady Bobcat cheerleaders, the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders on the junior high as well as Phil Camel knocks it out of bounds. Our game tonight brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum, also Kim Lindsay, who does all your monogramming and screen printing and also Triple D's Bucket Service. That's Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They do all your high reach needs, trimming those trees and whatever. No job is too big for them. Long shot, Macy Faulkner, top of the key, three-pointer good. Good job by Macy, and the Tigers up five to nothing. Full court pressure, and the Tigers almost got a steal. Field Camel, pressure on the backcourt. Tigers Hester all over, and the Tigers do get a steal. Number 14, McKenzie Hester into the ball game for the Tigers. Where's number 14? And we have got a whistle. And a ball out of bounds. Red Bay will still have it. Macy Faulkner will do the inbound. Faulkner with the ball. She'll dribble it back out to the top of the key. She's got Madison Hester on the left side over here. Right side is McKenzie. Faulkner will dribble it back out a little bit. Three minutes to go. 15, that's Hester with a shot. McKenzie shot, no good. Rebound goes to the Phil Campbell Bobcats. Phil Campbell did a great job getting it out of there, and they'll push it up the court to Baker. Baker will wait on help from Mills. Mills will set it up. Tigers playing a little 2-3 zone. Taking it down low, Phil Campbell, and the Tigers are going to commit a foul. Number 10. Lila Blackburn is going to be charged with that foul. Today's game brought to you by Carl Lewis Sausage, available at Swamp John's along with Mike Engel at Engel Farms. 
256-668-0775. Also, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale on a broadcast here tonight. Also, the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, 356-9511. And that free throw is up by Katie Thomas, and it's up and good. Also, CJ serving quality food at affordable prices, open seven days a week. Your BCA D uh, State Hunting and Fishing license available. That free throw is good. So Katie Thomas makes them both. That'll make it a 5-2 ball game. Kirkendall into the game for Blackburn as Blackburn got her second foul. Down to McAllister, her shot no good. She's fouled by Michaela Baker. So the Tigers have already got two players on the bench with a couple of fouls, one of them being Bolton and the other one being Blackburn. Five to two the score, two minutes and 33 seconds to go. The free throw is by McAllister and it's up and good. This is Destiny. Destiny will have another one coming. It is six to two and there comes a basketball across the floor. Well, they were all playing basketball the other night and got a ball out on the floor and they put a halt to that. Now they're playing tonight and here comes a ball across the court and they put a halt to it, so they didn't get to play very long tonight. McAllister's next shot is up, no good. Rebound goes to Phil Camel. Phil Camel gets that crawl of kind of timeline. Six to two the score. Has McAllister got one out of two for the Red Bay Tigers. Number three, a baseline shot. Good. Nicely done there by Emily Sweeney. That'll make it six to four. This is the Red Bay Tiger, Phil Camel Basketball Network from the Franklin County Junior High Tournament. And we have got a 30 second timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Six to four the score. Two minutes and 11 seconds to go. Red Bay Tiger basketball tonight brought to you by CJ, serving quality food at affordable prices. They are open, by the way, seven days a week, four in the morning till seven at night. And don't forget Belmont Pharmacy, Bill, Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore on a broadcast here tonight. And also, don't forget, they're in their fourth year of business. And they, of course, take Alabama, Mississippi, Medicaid as course, and they're Tiffin's preferred provider. Cardinal Drive-In also on the broadcast on the Golden Road, 356-2358. And, of course, they're open seven days a week. Steph, Denise, thank you very, very much for your business. Also, I want to thank Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted LeMay. Don't forget, they got the local honey for sale, the aromatherapy headquarters. Of course, they offer a variety of aromatherapy diffusers and essential oils, new arrivals of those homemade birdhouses as right now, 356-8313. And of course, flowers for any occasion. Red Bay with the basketball, and we got a foul in the backcourt by number three, Emily Sweeney picking up the foul. Red Bay's got a 6-4 lead. First foul against, um, or actually the second foul against Sweeney. Baker's got one. Six to four, Red Bay trying to get it in. They get it into McKenzie Hester. And Faulkner is going to be charged with a walk. So the pressure by Phil Camel paying off there. The Red Bay Tigers turn that ball over. Don't forget tonight's game on WRMGRadio.com. Have you shared it with anybody? Let us know if you're listening out there tonight. We're going to give you a telephone number to send us a text to let us know if you're listening. You folks over in Phil Campbell, Red Bay, hopefully you're listening to junior high basketball tonight. Rebound after the missed shot by the Red Bay Tigers. Kirkendall got it. Faulkner, double team in the backcourt, dribbles it off a Phil Campbell player intentionally because she was trapped there off the leg of Cayman Quinn. So Phil Campbell. Playing some really good defense, and the Tigers are going to, uh, well, looks like, turn it over. Now we're going to have a walk. I don't know who's going to end up with it. I think Red Bay is going to get it. A walk there by Phil Camel as they stole the basketball. Do me a favor now. We need to hear from you. 662-423-7602. That's area code 662-423-7602. Let us know if you're listening to the game. A shot up. Mike Kirkendall is no good, and she's foul. She'll go to the line to shoot. Cassidy Kirkendall will go to the line to shoot, too. We'll check this foul here. And this foul is against number 24, Phil Campbell. That's Katie Thomas going to be charged with a foul, and Kirkendall's 
shot is up good. Seven to four the score. Once again, our number 662-423-7602. 662-423-7602. Next shot by Kirkendall is on the way and it rolled off the rim, no good. So she got one out of two. Red Bay leads seven to four. We're in the first quarter with a minute and 15 seconds to go. Long three point shot, no good. McAllister with a rebound for the Red Bay Tigers. Faulkner out of there in traffic, dribbling it down, no problem. Takes that ball almost down to the baseline. Now we'll bring it back out. Red Bay Tiger basketball, a production of the Ivy Broadcasting Company and Mackenzie Hester shoots it up and no good. Rebound, Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell's got an open player down for the layup. It's up, no good. Rebound, and she fell down with it. Number 10, uh, there's Mills. Sweeney had a shot at it and couldn't get it to go in. And Mills got the rebound, but fell down. They get her with a walk, so Red Bay will take it in. McKenzie, Hester back to Faulkner. Faulkner back over to McKenzie. McKenzie double team, gets it back to Faulkner, and we're going to have a foul against uh, Caitlin Mills for the Bobcats. 7-4 to four the score. Our number once again, 662-423-7602. That lets us know you're out there listening to the game. If you'll send us a little text, we surely would appreciate it. I promise you that. Red Bay dribbles that ball out of bounds over there. Good pressure there by number 22. That's uh, Cayman Quinn. Once again, 662-423-7602. And a big special thanks to Community Spirit Bank on a broadcast. Mr. Brad Bolton and his staff. Mr. Billy Bolton. That old Brent Jeffries and Phil Campbell turns that ball over. They've been around since 1908. Call them at 356-4445 for that main location there in Red Bay. Red Bay, of course, the main location, Redmont. Now it's out at the Redmont location today. 22 seconds to go on the Tigers. Kirkendall walks for the ball. Got a location over in Belmont and also in Vina and also in Russellville, Alabama. Big shout out to Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast. Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook. Also, BJ Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Sestities. Down on Highway 23, 662, 676, 4445. Phil Campbell taking it down low. Went through the legs of number 11, Baker. And the Tigers have got a steal. Tigers down the court to Kirkendall. Kirkendall puts it up no good. She's foul with seven seconds to go. Nice Tiger crowd across the way. Several uh, folks here from Phil Campbell. I know we've got some teams coming in. Vina will be coming in to play in that boys game. Kirkendall, one out of two from the line just a minute ago. We'll shoot again. It's up and good. She has got uh, two points in the ball game. Remember tonight's game only online live, and that's WRMGRadio.com. This free throw is up. It is no good. And we got a whistle and a jump on the rebound going right back to the Red Bay Tigers. Eight to four, Red Bay leads. Red Bay McKenzie Hester will take it in. Hester gets it in. Macy Faulkner with the ball. Macy's got to shoot in a hurry. About a 15-footer up and no good. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Ninth grade girls, Red Bay leading after one quarter, eight to four. Jack Ivan, Randall, Lindsay live here on WRMG. And let's, uh, Randall, you know, uh, I don't know where you've ever heard us live on a broadcast before, but I'm going to let you listen. So I may have to turn it up a little bit. Of course, I'm streaming it on my cell phone, just showing Randall what we're doing there. But once again, we're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Eight to four the score. This is WRM's TV 12 and also Television 97. Jack Ivey live here. Today's game brought to you by your Edward Jones agent, Mr. Mike Jones, along with Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vinson out on Highway 19, also the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, 
along with the city of Red Bay, the Mayor Council by Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer. By Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, by Med Express, Dr. William Bush and Miss Kayla Humphreys. Eight to four the score, Phil Campbell with the basketball. Red Bay gets a steal, Kirkendall's got it to Faulkner. Red Bay with a four point lead. Now these teams split during the regular season. Red Bay won at Phil Campbell, Phil Campbell won here. Faulkner, long three point shot, no good. James into the ball game for the Red Bay Tigers. Dolly wears number 12, Phil Campbell with it. Kylie James, number 12, Phil Campbell down to the baseline. They've got number five into the ball game. Now the Tigers get a steal. Number five, by the way, is Jasmine Ergel. Faulkner will dribble that ball back out, 5-16 to go. Appreciate all of our great sponsors like Dixie Diesel, Denise and Murray Marr on a broadcast along with Dr. Rick Wooten over in Russellville at, at 301 Jackson Avenue. And also Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering on a broadcast. There's a shot up, no good by the Tigers. Phil Campbell had it momentarily. Now the Tigers get it, shot up no good. And the rebound going to get out of bounds. Still going to uh, be the Red Bay Tiger basketball. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Don't forget, we'll see what Faulkner does with a three-point shot no good. We got a whistle and a foul against Red Bay. Friday night, we'll be on the road at Alcorn Central. It'll be Belmont Alcorn Central. And Saturday, we'll be in Oxford, Mississippi. It'll be the Red Bay Boys playing at 3.30 against Lafayette County High School, followed by the Red Bay Girls. They will play at 6.30 against Lafayette County as well. You'll be able to listen to the game live right here on WRNG. Eight to four the score. Phil Campbell with the basketball and the Tigers, Kylie James got a steal and she's fouled by Ergel. That last foul against Red Bay, by the way, was uh, number 13, Kirkendall, that got that foul. Eight to four to score, four minutes and 34 seconds to go. Of course, this game online only at WRMGRadio.com. There is the free throw. It's up in no good by the Red Bay Tigers. Phil Campbell with it. They've had some opportunities to cut into that lead. They're going to try to do that on this trip down the court. Just got to quit turning the ball over. Both teams have turned it over a little bit too much. Right side, she's got a nice shot, wide open shot up, no good. That was number 11, a put back, no good, and a foul. Michaela Baker had a pretty good look on that right side. Going to the line, that foul, by the way, was against Kirkendall, her second foul. Eight to five, the score. Kirkendall will check out. And the next free throw, no good, didn't hit anything. Miller back into the ball game for the Tigers. Miller wears number 21. Red Bay will bring it down. Eight to five now, the score. James on the right side, lobs that ball into McAllister, right off her hands and out of bounds. Eight to five, the score. Phil Campbell with the basketball. Bringing it down the court is Mills. To the right side, the shot up no good. Inside the rebound, put back no good by Mills. And we got another jump this time. Arrow pointing back to the Red Bay Tigers. So 
see the world famous Greg Hamilton, your brand new superintendent of education in attendance here at the county tournament. Matter of fact, I saw all the guys that ran that for that position a while ago, Bart Moss, saw him taking some pictures a little bit earlier ago, talked to Donald Borden a little bit ago. We'll try to get a word with a world famous Greg Hamilton. We get a chance to when we go down. Eight to five, the score foul against the Tigers, against Faulkner. The free throw up and no good by Cayman Quinn and Red Bay with the rebound. It's still eight to five, anybody's ball game. We're in the second quarter, 325 to go. Appreciate Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi, and also the Red Bay Hospital as the Tigers turn that ball over. Appreciate Patrick Brooks at Redmond Heating and Cooling. Also Jason Parker and all the folks down at the Banner Tire Store. Your Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Dr. Ralph Nix, Family Dentistry on a broadcast, along with the Mason Jar on Main. Sweet Tea Southern Food, Jody and Sherry Fash really appreciate your business. And Tigers are going to get it right back after Phil Campbell turned that ball over. Faulkner gets it in. She'll dribble it back out to the top of the key. Got James over on the right side. James cross court pass to Hester. Back to Faulkner. Back to Hester. She'll take a shot. It's up and no good. Rebound out of bounds, and it's going to the Phil Campbell Bobcats. Eight to five, the score, three minutes and two seconds to go. Hope you enjoy the broadcast. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of any of, the game, any of these games we've done this year, they're available on DVD. Shot up no good. Miller with a rebound, gets it to Faulkner, and here comes the Red Bay Tigers with the ball up by three, eight to five. Appreciate Piggly Wiggly and Red Bay Belmont and I. You go along with Cash and Thermal Plastics on a broadcast. We're down to 237 to go. Miller now over on that right side. They got James a little bit down on the low post up high there. They got number three, McAllister. They went to McAllister right through her hands and a turnover. Phil Campbell's got it. Phil Campbell for the layup. It's up and good. Number 10 got that one. That's uh, Caitlin Mills. Hey, come here a minute. I was just talking about you down there. Hang on a minute. Let me get to get your mic on. I was just talking about you down there. How you doing? Well, hang good, on. good to be oh, here. Oh, there you are. Now say something. It's good to be here. Greg Hamilton joining us tonight. How you doing? Oh, you, Do oh, you, you ain't got a head, so you can't even hear me. How you doing tonight? Good? I'm doing great. But, uh, boy, you got in here for a good ball game, 8-7, to seven, Red Bay on top. But, uh, you know, these two teams split during the regular season. Home court advantage, uh, home court advantage didn't do any good because uh, Red Bay won at Phil Campbell, and they won down here. So, tonight has a chance to get in the finals. So, whoever wins this one. County tournament, you know, it always brings out the best play. No doubt about it. Ball out of bounds. It'll belong to the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. We got a minute and 57 seconds to go. Well, are you about to get uh, get a little feel of that uh, superintendent's job? I know it's early. Well, it's been a it's been a busy two weeks. I, I can I put it like that, but you know, I'm loving it and I'm honored to be there. Sounds good. Of course, you were excited about it. Uh, that night that you got the big victory, and I know you, you're still probably up on a cloud, aren't you? Well, I'm honored, that's for sure. But it's, uh, you know, we've been busy, really, really busy. Red Bay Tigers driving inside. We're going to have a whistle and a foul. And uh, what's been the uh, toughest challenge to adjust uh, here in that first two weeks, if that's a fair question? Well, finances, finances, <laughs> you know. It's basic economics. Are you talking? Not a, what if Randall donated about a four or five million? Would that help? Four or five million definitely would help. Oh. From Randall or whichever one of the other workers wants to donate, it'd be good with me. It wouldn't matter who it's from, right? No, we're uh, we don't show favoritism. We'll take it from any of them. And of course, uh, I know. Uh, just getting your feet wet here early and uh, just get a uh, get a few weeks under your belt. It's going to make it a little bit easier, but uh, I know you got a, uh, a lot of good folks over there helping you in the office, central office. Well, the central office staff has been great to me. Uh, couldn't thank them enough for these for these first two weeks. But, you know, we got great schools, and we want to do everything we can to make them, make them the best they can be. And again, it's, it's an honor, and I'll do my very best. Of course, on that uh, night that you got the big victory over there, and of course, uh, uh, I interviewed you that night, and uh, 
I don't know how, how long it takes for something like that to get a big victory like that to sink in. Is it, is it sunk in that you really are the superintendent? Yeah, uh, there's no, <laughs> you know, I pray about it every morning when I get up, every night before I go to bed. And, you know, I care about these schools and these kids, and I'm going to do everything I can to give them the best opportunity in life possible. Well, we appreciate you a bunch. You're going to come back and talk to us again? Jack, it's always a pleasure. I'll come talk to you anytime you can. Sounds good. Appreciate you very much. Mr. Greg Hamilton joining us here, and Greg was just about to turn his mic off every time he talked there. That was the reason you were losing him. Had his finger on that button there. 10 to 7, the Red Bay Tigers lead. Red Bay will have the basketball with a minute and five seconds to go. Appreciate you. Uh, Redmond Pharmacy, H&R Block on a broadcast, Big Star, Frank Little Electric, Dr. Jim Neighbors, Nurse Practitioner Carolyn Wilson, along with the Red Bay Gas and Water Department, Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member on a broadcast, Dickie Sparks, CPA, along with Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent, all a part of this broadcast here tonight. Let me give the number for Sparks CPA, 356-9375. Ten to seven, the score. The long shot by Hester, no good. Rebound goes to Phil Camel. Ten to seven, our score. We're live on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Driving it down the lane. Nobody picked her up. Laying it in, good. A beautiful play by Katie Thomas to make it a ten to nine ball game. Red Bay up by one. Red Bay with the basketball might just end up going for that last shot. Red Bay almost lost it out of bounds. Now Phil Campbell almost with a steal, and we're going to have a whistle and a foul against Phil Campbell. And the Tigers have got an injured player down. It looks like it's Macy Faulkner grabbing that ankle. She's trying to get up. But uh, coach goes back. Macy says, I'm all right. And she is going to go to the line to shoot a one and one. Macy Faulkner working hard out there and not putting much weight on it at all. She'll go to the line to shoot a one and one. And now we may have her have to check out of the ball game because of the injury and somebody else might have to go back in and shoot the uh, free throws. That is going to be the case. Macy Faulkner will have to check out. Lila Blackburn will check in as she'll shoot a one and one. Appreciate you, Rayburn Massey, Franklin County Commissioner on a broadcast, Baytree Gift Company, right next to WRMG. Johnny Weatherford at Red Bay Reynolds, along with Bay Diesel, Chris and Valerie Marr. That free throw, no good. And Phil Campbell with a rebound, only three seconds to go. 10 to nine, Red Bay leads. Phil Campbell, a half court shot, will not go in. And we've played one half of basketball. It's a close one. The Red Bay Tigers lead Phil Campbell by a score of 10 to 9. Today's game brought to you by Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, along with Red Bay Carpets on the Golden Road. Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty by Miller's Affordable Furniture. Don't forget they got, of course, the living rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, recliners, dining rooms, twin bedding, and starting at $99. Don't forget Miller's Affordable Furniture sponsoring this county tournament here tonight. Also, Predator Pest Control, the insect predator. Uh, let me give you Eddie Deaton's number, 662-315-2841. Phil Campbell, cheerleaders, getting ready to perform, along with Tri-State Insurance, Brenda Purser, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, 356-4804 there in Red Bay, and Dr. Stephen Ray's family dinner store. Let's listen in. Phil Campbell Bobcats performing, and now the Red Bay Tigers. And the Red Bay Tigers are going to be performing here. And today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry. Call 356-8899 for deployment. They're located on the Golden Road, practicing since 1993. Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candice. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Here's the Tiger cheerleaders.
and the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders performing. 10-9 the score. The Red Bay Tigers lead over Phil Camel. Ninth grade action by a score of 10-9. This is the Red Bay Tiger, Phil Camel, Basketball Network. Back to action here on WRMG. Shot up and no good out of bounds by Phil Campbell. Today's game brought to you by Kim Lindsay. Does all your screen printing and monogramming. We're just starting the third quarter. Bailey Bolton who got two quick fouls starting here. Tigers try to go to McAllister. Now McAllister does have it. McAllister shot up no good. She is fouled. Will you carry him, will you? No. McAllister will go to the line. He said you needed a lot of help. That's your brother. McAllister's first shot is up. It's no good. One point in the game for Destiny. Next one up, no good. And the rebound. Red Bay Tigers got it. Down to Fortner. Fortner puts it up good on a nice feed from Kirkendall. That's Fortner's fifth point of the ball game. 12 to nine is the score. So Macy Fortner has committed another foul on the other end of the floor. Ball goes out of bounds and it will be still Phil Campbell basketball to the foul against Macy. Little baseline jumper by Phil Campbell, no good. Ball out of bounds, it's going back to the Red Bay Tigers. Don't forget if you got some trees that need to be trimmed, stumped, ground up, need to get in some high reach areas, you need to call Triple D's Bucket Service. Their license are bunded, insured of course, and they're good friends of ours, 662-279-1500. And we got a whistle and another foul. This one against the Bobcats. Number 22 is going to be charged with a foul. That'll be her second foul. And Bolton has the ball stolen away. Phil Campbell for the layup. It's up and good by number 10, Caitlin Mills. That'll make it 12 to 11. Red Bay only up by one point to the Phil Campbell Bobcats. The winner of this one will be in the championship game Saturday and good penetration by the Tigers. Faulkner and dishing it off to McAllister and it's 14-11 Red Bay. About a free throw line jump shot on the right elbow, no good. And a foul against Phil Campbell on the rebound. Fourteen eleven, the score. Tigers, Kirkendall over to McKenzie. McKenzie down low to McAllister. McAllister puts it up good. Phil Campbell better get back on defense, or Red Bay is going to stretch this lead out. Red Bay up sixteen to eleven. Sweeney has the ball stolen away by Kirkendall, and Red Bay's got it back, leading by five. Four minutes and four seconds to go. McAllister over to Bolton. Bolton drives the baseline, kicks it back out. The ball stolen away. Phil Campbell, number 22, walks with the basketball and the Tigers to get it back. Don't forget today's game brought to you by Community Spirit Bank, Red Bay's oldest business since 1908. Mr. Brad and Billy, I see them. Miss Judy sitting across the way watching the Red Bay Tigers tonight. We got a timeout on the court. We'd like to remind you that, uh, of course, we got the Red Bay and Vina Boys coming up next. Today's game brought to you by that great tasting Carl Lewis sausage. Also, Mike Engel at Engel Farms, 256 668 0775. Also, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barstale by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Fabi Unke. Also, CJ serving quality food at affordable prices. They're, of course, 
seven days a week. They're over in Belgrade at the intersection of 187 and Highway 24. Sixteen to eleven, the score with three forty-six to go. Red Bay will play the ball side court with three forty on the clock. Sixteen to eleven, the score. Mackenzie Hester at the top of the key is number fourteen. Mackenzie, the shot is up good. She went to Madison, got it right back. Mackenzie knocks down the big shot to make it eighteen to eleven. Eighteen to eleven, Red Bay inside, kicking it back out. Three point shot is going to be short by the Bobcats. Bobcats with a rebound, and we got a timeout by Phil Campbell, a 30-second timeout by the Bobcats, and the Bobcats will have the basketball 2.59 to go. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Belmont Pharmacy, Bill, Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore now in their fourth full year of business. Also, the Cardinal driving on the Golden Road. Don't forget to check their board for daily specials. Stephanie Denise, really appreciate your business. Also, consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted. Don't forget they are your headquarters for a variety of aromatherapy diffusers and essential oils. The rivals, of course, got those handmade birdhouses. They got the Red Bay Tiger keychains, the buttons, the bracelets, all kinds of Red Bay Tiger keepsakes. You can call them at 356 83 13, also Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook on a broadcast. Phil Camel with the basketball, left side, three-point shot, up no good. Red Bay with a rebound it is Destiny McAllister. 18-11, the score. Two minutes and 38 seconds to go. McKenzie, high post there to McAllister. McAllister is fouled. Red Bay will play it underneath their own basket. That foul against number 11. And that is Baker picking up her. No, it wasn't Baker. That was uh, Mills picking up her second foul. Long shot. Macy Faulkner is up and good from three point range. Great job, Macy. That's Macy's eighth point of the ball game. Red Bay leading by 10 now. Now the Tigers get a steal. Good job there by Madison Hester getting the steal, 21-11. Red Bay down low to McAllister. McAllister puts it up too hard, gets her own rebound on the other side, no good. This time kicking it back to Faulkner is Madison Hester. Madison on the left side. Cross court to McKenzie. McKenzie on the right elbow, shot no good. And the putback by Kirkendall is up and good. Twenty-three to eleven with a minute and forty-one seconds to go. Phil Campbell driving it down the lane, shot up, no good, but her, her teammate got it and put it in good. Twenty-two. Who is twenty-two? That is Quinn. Red Bay leading by ten. Twenty-three to thirteen with a minute twenty-five to go. Kirkendall down to McAllister. Macy Faulkner with the ball. Back to Hester. Hester shot up no good. And we got a whistle and a rebound after Phil Campbell rebounded. A Red Bay Tiger foul. Twenty-three to thirteen, the score. Red Bay Tigers leading by ten. Third quarter with one minute to go. Sweeney down to the baseline. Thomas now inside there to Quinn, and we got a whistle and a foul. And. 
And the shot blocked by McAllister for Red Bay. Number 10, Mills, had that ball in the lane, tried to put it up. And McAllister blocked it. Macy Faulkner at top of the key. McKenzie Hester on the right side, drives down to the baseline. She's fouled by number 22. That's Cayman Quinn, got to be charged with a foul. Twenty three thirteen with thirty three seconds to go. McAllister Faulkner thought about a three from the right wing. We got twenty seven seconds now clock running in the third quarter. Red Bay trying to get to the finals on Saturday. Faulkner a long three. No good. McKenzie Hester with a rebound. Now McKenzie is going to be tied up over the corner and Red Bay will still have the basketball. Twenty three thirteen they lob it into McAllister. She's open shot up. No good. A rebound backside and a good one there by Bailey Bolton to put it back in good. Good backside rebound Bailey. Here come the Phil Campbell Bobcats and the Red Bay Tigers are going to commit a foul. Twenty five to thirteen. Red Bay Tiger basketball production of Ivy broadcasting tonight. Tigers taking on Phil Camel here in the county tournament. First free throw is no good. By number 10, Mills. Red Bay with a big 12 point lead right now. the horn sounds and that's the end of the third quarter the Red Bay Tigers lead in the ball game 25 to 13 25 to 13 so it looks like the Red Bay Tigers are going to be in pretty good shape to get to the finals on Saturday if you're out there joining us on a broadcast appreciate you sharing it with your friends about the game tonight on WRMGRadio.com that's WRMGRadio.com About ready to start the third quarter. Bill Campbell will get the ball to start the fourth quarter. They're going to have to make up some ground in a hurry. Six minute quarters doesn't give them very much time. Twenty five to thirteen. Here we go. Phil Campbell with the basketball. Working that ball to Sweeney on the right side. Sweeney tries to go over the shot blocked by McAllister controlled by Lila Blackman. Bailey Bolton will bring it down with 5.40 to go. Left side to Hester. And the ball stolen away by the Phil Campbell Bobcats. You know, you're looking at this is actually a ninth grade game, and the shot is up and good by the Bobcats to make it 25 to 16. Big three point play, good shot. Bolton with 5-10 to go. Playing pitch there. Now taking it down low. The ball stolen away. 
by the Phil Campbell Bobcats. They're going to take it all the way in, lay it up no good. Rebound tipped out of there, and we're going to end up having a jump. Good hustle there with Bolton and Jasmine Ergel. Twenty-five to sixteen, Bailey Bolton. Over to the right side. Now back to Faulkner. Faulkner drives in, tries to go to James. And Phil Campbell stole it, but the Tigers trying to steal it back. But Phil Campbell is going to hold on to the basketball. You know, Blackburn is an eighth grader, and of course. Uh, McAllister is and Destiny is an eighth grader. So those two eight ladies right there, let's see. I guess those are the two eighth graders that's up here on this ninth grade. So ninth graders will be moving up next year. And there's a shot up by the Tigers. No good. It's 25 16. Phil Campbell with the basketball. They got a ways to go with four minutes to go in the game. Today's game brought to you by Alpha Insurance. Mr. John Cook, a long three-point shot, and a Kylie James foul. And Phil Campbell will go to the line to shoot three. Appreciate uh, Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast, along with B.J. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Sessions. And free throw is up. It is no good. And the next one is up. It's no good. She's missed two. She's got three. This is number 10, Caitlin Mills. And the next shot is up. It is good. Got to make it 25 to 17, 25 to 17. Three minutes and 42 seconds to go. Red Bay trying to take it inside. Blackburn trying to go to McAllister. And it was knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Tigers, 25-17. Phil Camel could make it interesting with the basket this trip down the floor. 25-17 and a walk. By the Bobcats. Red Bay's going to get it back. Appreciate once again Community Spirit Bank on a broadcast today, along with Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent, along with the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, the city and the city of Red Bay, the mayor, council, Tigers, another turnover. And a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, on a broadcast here today. Call Mike at 256-332-7924. They said the foul's on the floor. Bolton checking out. That foul against Faulkner, her third. They lob it in, and the Tigers' Blackburn is going to be charged with a foul. James will check out of the ball game and 15 Madison Hester will check in. Big free throws right here. Number 10. Mills makes that one. Makes it 25 to 18. She'll have another one coming here. It's up. It is good. That makes it 25 to 19. And a timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Full timeout, Coach Mitchell. 25 to 19, Red Bay will have the basketball with three minutes and 13 seconds to go. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Red Bay Tigers facing full court pressure after the timeout. Only up 25-19, had a 12-point lead. And the Tigers throw it away. Blackburn's pass 
way too high intended for Madison Hester. Had a good play set up with the pass a little too high. So Phil Campbell, who beat the Red Bay Tigers here in the regular season right here, Red Bay won over there. This is to get in the championship game Saturday. Three-point shot, top of the key, no good. Phil Campbell with a rebound, no good again. This time Blackburn's got the rebound and a foul against Phil Campbell. The finals will be Saturday morning. It'll be the seventh and eighth grade girls finals starting at 10 o'clock. Eighth grade boys at 11.15. The ninth grade girls will play at 12.30. And the boys ninth grade, that'll be Phil Campbell and East Franklin will be at 1.45. Here comes Faulkner pushing it up the court. And Faulkner is going to be fouled. That last foul, by the way, against Phil Campbell was number 22 Quinn's fourth foul. Let's see who this one is. It's going to be a one and one for the Tigers. That is number 11, Michaela Baker, with her fourth foul. Faulkner, free throw is up. It is no good. 26 to 19, so she makes one out of two. And the Red Bay Tigers on the defense right now. Left side, 22 drive and in traffic. Puts it up, no good. Blocked out of bounds. It still belonged to Phil Campbell. Appreciate the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont on the broadcast along with Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York dealer. Phil Campbell will still have it. Red Bay tipped it out of bounds. Appreciate Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company along with Med Express of Red Bay. Sweeney dribbles that ball to the right side. Down to the baseline. 22 goes around McAllister, lays it up good. Good move to the basket there by Cayman Quinn to make it a five-point ball game, 26-21. Red Bay pushing it up, driving that ball in. Great shot there by Lila Blackburn. Boy, that was big time there. Her first basket of the game, and it was big. 28-21. Down to the baseline, faking, and this time they're going to get over the walk. She went around McAllister again, but she walked. We're going to get Destiny to cut that baseline off there. That way they'd have to go out of bounds. That's easier said than done in OP out there. And Phil Campbell does get the ball. Put up a shot, no good. Rebound, Red Bay's got it. 28-21, here's Blackburn. Blackburn to McAllister. McAllister turns around, shot, no good. Rebound, loose on the floor. McAllister able to run it down. Go to McKenzie Hester. Hester back to McAllister. To Macy Faulkner, the Tigers will back it up. Tigers going to spread it out a little bit with a minute and 20 to go. Tigers better watch out there. We got a timeout. Red Bay Tigers. Thirty-second timeout. 28-21. Red Bay gets a thirty-second timeout. We're down to a minute and twelve seconds to go. Coach Green up here, we got a whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. 
trying to figure out how to cover all these games Saturday. How quick can you get to Oxford? Can you drive about 80? And Lila Blackburn is the one that committed a foul. She just fouled out. Here comes Kirkendall into the game. Red Bay with a minute eight to go, leading 28-21. Phil Campbell definitely needs to make these free throws with the clock stop. First one is up good. And that is up by number 10, Mills. Mills will have another shot coming. It is up, it is good. She's made one, two, three, four, five in a row after missing three in a row. 28-23, Tigers get that ball into Kirkendall. Kirkendall across the timeline. Kirkendall has it knocked out of bounds from behind. Tigers will still have it with 1.03 to go. One oh three to go. Red Bay will get that ball in to McAllister. Back to Blackburn. 28-23. Hester and the ball is well, we're going to have a whistle on a foul. Let's see who the foul is against. It'll be Red Bay shooting one and one. And somebody just fouled out for Phil Campbell. It'll be number 22. Uh, Cayman Quinn just fouled out. Red Bay will send number 14 to the line. This is Mackenzie Hester. <coughs> 28 to 23 with 52 seconds to go. And the free throw. Is up good, banked it in. McKenzie says, Jack Ivey, any way it goes in, I'll take it. You're right. She banked it off the backboard. That's a good way to make it. Next one up, it's no good. Guess what? She hustled a big time to get that rebound and tie up Field Camel, even though the air is pointing in favor of Field Camel. Great hustle there by McKenzie. And the young lady from Phil Campbell as well. 29 to 23. Here comes Phil Campbell driving all the way in. Layup is up good. Number 20 got that one. That'll make it 29 to 25. Kirkendall with the ball. Kirkendall's pass stolen away. Phil Campbell's got it. Phil Campbell drives it. Goes right side. Back to the top of the key. 28 seconds to go. Phil Campbell driving in the lane. Little running shot. No good. Rebound. Faulkner's got it with 21 seconds to go. Red Bay leads 29 to 25, and Red Bay wants a timeout with 16 seconds to go. Great game, 29 to 25. 29 to 25, Red Bay leading with 16.9 seconds to go. 16.9 seconds to go. All starts Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. It'll be the seventh and eighth grade girls finals. And that'll be followed at 1115 with the seventh and eighth grade boys. 1230 will be ninth grade girls. And 145 will be the boys finals. Randall, a few left here are like driving 100 miles an hour at 145 when that when that game was over. Twenty-nine twenty-five, Red Bay with the lead with sixteen point nine seconds. Now we'll be at Oxford Saturday covering the Red Bay boys and girls. Red Bay having trouble getting it in. Almost got a five second call. Now Kirkenall foul on the inbound. And Holly will go to the line to shoot. Not Holly, but close enough, Cassidy. Holly's her mom, I see her. Grandmother over there. 
See who? Macy Faulkner at the line. So, or down here at the three-point line here on the right side, you see her standing there. That's uh, Holly at the, Holly's youngest there on the line. Miss Cassidy and her free throw is good, a big one. Next one up, it's no good. And we got a whistle and a foul against Red Bay on the rebound. We're going to go to the other end of the floor and shoot one and one with 13.9 seconds to go. See the world famous Donovan Han in the house tonight. He's got him a front row seat. Going to the line is Phil Camel. The free throw one and one is up no good. Rebound Macy Faulkner's got it. And a foul against Phil Camel. Hard fought game with the Red Bay Tigers. Looks like going to come out on top on this one. And the free throw is up and good. And the next one is up good by Macy Farner. Macy's got one, two, three, six, nine, eleven. Three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four seconds to go. Red Bay, 32-25. Shot, and that is it. Red Bay 32. Phil Campbell 25. The Red Bay ladies are in the finals on Saturday in ninth grade action over the Bobcats. Great heart fought ball game of both teams. Don't forget if you'd like to get a copy of tonight's uh, games, they're available on DVD. And Red Bay celebrating all the way to the dressing room. How you doing? Once again, the Lady Tigers win it 32-25. We've got the Red Bay boys coming up next with, hey now, the By the Red Devil boys. This is eighth grade action coming up next. This is the Ivy. Broadcasting company will be going courtside. Stay tuned. Jack Ivy once again live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. We're live. And of course, we're live in Red Bay, Alabama. Congratulations, ninth grade girls. Just one big over Phil Campbell. Close game. Appreciate uh, Jacks of Red Bay, Dr. Stephen Ray's Family and Industry Community Spirit Bank for making this hospitality room possible here tonight. We're going to get a word with the coaches here in just a minute. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television in 97. Going to ease down, try to get a word with the coaches here. See if we can grab the coach from Vina here. Coach, come over and talk to me a little bit. Hey, how are you, sir? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Tell us a little bit about these uh, Red Devils you've brought down to Red Bay tonight. Uh, well, uh, they uh, they work really hard. We've worked uh, hard all season. Um, we've gotten considerably better at uh, rebounding and uh, handling the ball. Um, I'm proud of their work ethic, and I'm, I'm proud that uh, the first game of the, of the uh, tournament, we uh, we played very well, and I'm very proud of them and uh, hoping to uh, come up with a W tonight. What you got to do to get a win? This is a, a, a talented crew here at Red Bay's got, ain't it? Oh, it it, uh, it definitely is. They uh, <clears throat> they got a lot of height and they handle the ball and they they shoot shoot the ball very well and they uh, hit the, they hit their free throws, and uh, so talented club, and uh, they do a really good job. And what, what we've got to execute is from a from a from a rebound standpoint, we've got we got to be able to not let second and third shots uh, happen. And then we got to get the ball down the floor and be able to break the press. Well, I want to wish you good luck tonight. I know Coach Morrow, they, you don't have this much talent on one team normally just once in a many, many years. I know he's excited about this team, but uh, you might shock the world if you got a win here tonight. <laughs> right? Well, we're, we're just, we're just, in, we're glad to be here and we're uh, enjoying the moment. We're just, we're just glad to be here. Congratulations, all. Good luck, all right. Appreciate hey, it. I'll Thank have this so. game on YouTube tomorrow so all you right. can watch it. Go to youtube.com and search Jack Ivy and you'll be able to watch all these right. games here tonight. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, we're going to ease down here and get a quick word. I was just telling him uh, he might could shock the world if he could get a win over this uh, ball club you got on the floor here tonight, Coach. 
Well, you know, you never underestimate your opponent. I, I've told the guys, you know, let's be locked in, be focused. So. And he was talking about his guys, uh, how much, much, how much he had improved since the beginning of the year. And of course, coach, you've been coaching for a long time, and that's what you look at at the end of the year. Are, are we better than we was when we started? Have we learned a lot? And right. what can you say about your team? Have they done that? Yeah, I think we, you know, we've we've made gains every day, every day. Um, and, we, you know, there's still room for growth. That's what I tell them. You know, you're not a finished product. You're in the eighth grade, so you've still got a long ways to go before you're done. Well, this uh, Viner team coming in here, they look like they got some pretty good guys. And uh, these guys are hungry. They're wanting to play Saturday. Yeah, uh, we watched them this past Saturday, and they played well against East Franklin. And, you know, that was my first time to get to see them because we, don't, we hadn't played them in a regular season in several years. But they look pretty good. I think they're wanting us over here. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to ease in. The officials getting ready to talk to the captains this evening. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. How you doing? Good. Okay. Can I see your number real quick? Okay, 334, you can be my team captains. Good sportsmanship, play hard. Other than that, y'all got any questions, ask. Y'all can go back. Y'all can go shoot. Coaches, players legally properly equipped. Legally properly equipped. Yes, sir. 30 full, come to the extra check-in. Other than that, good luck, coaches. Appreciate it. Thank good you. luck, coach. I'm not sure. You reckon he was ready for that microphone tonight? I guess so, but, he you did know. He a good job, though. Yeah. Dude. Hey, good luck, guys. Hey, that's why I'm here to learn from the best. Right. <laughs> good to see you all. Thanks, Appreciate, sir. Appreciate it. it. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Well, Macy Faulkner coming out. Uh, Macy, I ain't got but a second, but uh, you're playing Saturday. You know what that means, don't you? We're going to get that win. That's right. You're looking for the championship. Uh, uh, tough game here last time they beat us here, and y'all beat them over there. And uh, home court advantage tonight, maybe a little difference, but y'all got to win is the main thing, right? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a hard win, but we got it. But they're a good ball club, so it was a, it was a good fun game to watch. Yes, it was. How's your ankle? It's good. I thought I hurt it, but it turns out to be fine. So uh, you weren't just uh, faking it to get a timeout or nothing? Oh, no. I thought I did hurt it, but I didn't. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Macy Faulkner joining us here on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. We're going to work our way upstairs and get ready for the start of this next game. Yeah, uh, no, another interview. Come. We got the starting lineups for Vina and Red Bay coming up. And the starting lineups for Vina. starting lineup for both ball clubs, the Red Bay Tigers and the field by the Red Devils.
man for the Viner Red Devils tonight, Peyton Allison. You got uh, Weatherford out there. You got uh, Whitfield, Miller, and Davison, and the tip is controlled by the Red Bay Tigers. Today's game, live in Red Bay, is the Franklin County Tournament. Down to Ray, shot up no good. Ray got his own rebound, tries to go back up. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot. Good feed in there for the Red Bay Tigers Kennedy to start the game. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry. Dr. Ray and Michelle. And the rest of the crew there. Free throw is good on both accounts. And the Red Bay Tigers are up by a score of two to nothing. And Bina almost turned that ball over. Number 10 able to get that ball back. Takes it in, lays it up. It's no good. Ray with a rebound. Number 10 is Weatherford. Is that Hayes Weatherford? The world famous Johnny Weatherford transition. And there's Kennedy down low putting it up good. Four to nothing, Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay Tiger basketball, there's Miller. Miller across the timeline, double teamed in there, looking for help, able to get that ball away. The number 23, Elijah Whitfield. Whitfield back over to Davidson, and the long shot is up, it's no good, gets his own rebound. Whitfield shot no good, blocked by the Tigers. And the Tigers push it up. Burks. And now the ball stolen away by Ivana. I believe number 10, Weatherford got a hand on it. He's got it right now. He'll take it all the way in in traffic, puts it up. It's no good. Bays with a rebound. And here come the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay quickly down the floor. Burks on the right wing to Ray. Ray in the lane, tripped up. Back to Kennedy, puts it up good. Red Bay out to a 6 to nothing lead with 4.25 to go. Red Bay with number or Allison there, number two, is going to be fouled. This is Peyton Allison. Aaron Gann, another one of the guys, Braden Pardew. Malik Fletcher, Nick Humphries. Uh, looks like Caden Lawler and Malachi Fletcher. Mate rounds out the roster for this Vina ball club. Vina in traffic, number 10. Great job in there, puts it up, won't go. Rebound, Red Bay's got it. Ray got it after Weatherford couldn't get it to go. Ray pushing it up, takes it down, dishes off Kennedy. Kennedy shot up good. Kennedy's got six. Red Bay leads eight to nothing, and Vina wants a timeout. Red Bay Tigers and the Vina Red Devils here. Don't forget the finals coming up on Saturday, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, and they'll be every hour and 15 minutes. Honored to have you joining us on our broadcast here tonight from WRMG TV 12, TV 97 on the internet tonight at WRMGradio.com, WRMGradio.com. Eight to nothing, Red Bay. Weatherford has the ball knocked away, and it's going to be a walk against the Tigers as he actually went out of bounds on top of that. Eight to nothing, the score. Three minutes and 48 seconds to go. And the ball knocked out of bounds by Burks. Red Bay Tiger roster. I'm not sure where Vincent's at tonight. I see. His folks over there, he may, be, he may be sick on us. Eight to nothing the score. Vina with the basketball. Number 34 is Miller. Dribbling being guarded there by Kennedy. And we got a whistle, and they're going to get him for carrying the ball. Ray Bay, Red Bay with Jaden Anderson, Gage Bays, Jalen Vincent, Hunter Burks, Kaiser Jackson, Dawson Wright, Cam McKinney, Braden Ray, Alex Kennedy, and Lane Schubert. They go to Ray. Ray on the right elbow, pulls up, jump shot, no good. Rebound number 23, Elijah Whitfield. And the Red Bay Tigers get a steal. Bays 
Drive it in, off the glass, no good. Rebound goes to the Viner Red Devils. Kennedy steals it, Kennedy puts it back up good. Kennedy's got eight points and the Red Bay Tigers lead 10-0. Elijah Whitfield with the basketball. Across the timeline there to Davidson. And driving that ball in is Vina. Shot up no good. Missed in there by Dawson Miller. Here come the Red Bay Tigers. Push it up. Bays back to Burks. And Burks puts it up good. Red Bay out to a 12-0 lead. Don't forget to check out RedBaySports.com. Mr. Mike Schubert, RedBaySports.com. Of course, Mike, your hometown school board member making the game possible tonight. You can keep up with the sports in the community from every aspect. He'll keep you up to date at redbaysports.com. Here comes Vina trailing 12 to nothing. 23 with the ball is Whitfield to the left side. Shot up no good by Allison. The putback by number 34, Dawson Miller, is up and good. Good job, Dawson. 12 to 2 the score. Yeah, yeah you want to you do it there? Yeah, come here and get this microphone. And it was Brad Bolton there. I don't know if I wanted to do an interview. Kaiser Jackson driving it down, and Kaiser's going to be fouled. Schubert McKinney. And number 21 getting ready to check in for the Tigers. I think 21 is it? 24. Dawson Wright getting ready to check in. Red Bay will play it underneath their own basket. Ray will check out. Kennedy will check out. Somebody else has got to come out. Kaiser Jackson will check out. 12 to 2 the score. 2.07 to go. Tigers. Birch weaving in and out of traffic. Puts it up off the glass. Nicely done there by Hunter Birch. 14 to 2. Red Bay. Here comes Weatherford for Viner. Has the ball stolen away. Right. Down to Schubert. Schubert for the layup. It's up good. 16 to 2. Red Bay Tigers defense. A lot. The ball knocked out of bounds by the Red Bay Tigers. Viner will take it in. Viner's number 34. Dawson Miller will do the inbounds. Number 22, Aaron Gann is checked into the ball game. And number 32, Braden Party has checked in. Braden's dad was a very good ball player. Over at Belmont, and the steal and the layup by Burks is no good. So the Tigers will go to the line. That foul against uh, number 10. That's uh, Hayes Weatherford being charged with a foul. And the free throw up, no good. Don't forget, Saturday, 3.30, live on WRMG, TV 12, TV 97, WRMGradio.com. It'll be the Red Bay Tigers and Lafayette County. And boys game at 3.30, the girls at 6.30. That free throw was good for Burks at 17-2. Now the Tigers got a steal. Anderson into the ball game. Jaden gets it back out to Burks. Taking it down to Schubert. Schubert takes that ball right to the hoop, puts it up. It's no good. Schubert with a rebound again, no good. Gets his own rebound, goes right back up, no good. Gets another rebound up, and this time it's good. Good job, Lane Schubert. And another timeout on the court with 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's all Red Bay 19-2. 19 to 2, the Red Bay Tigers are on top. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We we'll appreciate you being with us here today. And if you're out there joining us, thanks to Med Express of Red Bay, that's Dr. William Bush, nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys on our broadcast here today. Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. Swamp Johns also on our broadcast. Get hooked on Swamp Johns. What about the Red Bay Hospital taking care of your friends and family close to home? The administrator is Mr. Glenn Jones. Nineteen to two the score. Today's game also brought to you by Davis Ford in Fulton, Mississippi. 
Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer in business now for 50 years plus. A proud sponsor of the game today. 662-862-3711. Bino will take the ball in. Weatherford trapped there, able to keep the ball alive. He got it off to number 34, Miller. And the ball stolen away there by Burks. Burks will take it all the way in, and he carries the ball. And the Red Bay Tigers will turn it over. Bina trailing 19 to 2. And they get the ball in, but it's turned over. Burks has got it. Three point shot left side with the Tigers up and no good. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by, well, I thought McKinney, but they're going to give it to the Red Bay Tigers. 19 to 2 the score. Tigers take it in to Schubert. Shot is up, no good. And the rebound finally, when he kicked it out, he got by, and the Red Bay Tigers are going to get it back. Tigers go to Schubert. Schubert on the left elbow, shot short, out of bounds, give it to the Vina Red Devils. Number 34, Miller, will do the inbounds. Also, you got uh, Peyton Allison out there, number two, 23 is out there now, Elijah Whitfield. Along with number 44 down here, that's Zach Davidson. Allison with the ball. Where's number two? Taking it down low, 44 shot, no good. McKinney with a rebound, and that's the end of the first quarter. Red Bay leading at the end of the first quarter, 19 to two. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball tonight brought to you by Davis Ford. Let me give you that number, 662-862-3711. Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer, Buster Davis in the south, can save you thousands right now in Fulton. Also want to thank Redmond Heating and Cooling, residential and commercial installation, service and repairs. Patrick Brooks is the man to see there, 662-279. 6569. Also, the Banner Tire Store on the Fairview Banner Road. New and used tires, Duck Commander tires with fixed tractor flats called Jason Parker. 662 676 2177. Also, Dr. Ralph Nick's Family Dentistry on our broadcast here today. Located behind the post office, your dental hygienist is Elena McKinney. 19 to 2, Red Bay leads. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Vina will get it. You can move that back. I was just checking something. Weatherford with the ball. Number 23 in the lane, kicks it back out. Long three-point shot up, no good. By Mr. Peyton Allison, long throw down the court. Anderson into Kennedy, knocked out of bounds by Vina. Bays back into the ball game. Kaiser Jackson back in. Kennedy back in. Ray back in. Anderson will stay with the first group here. Anderson in the corner. Shoots a long three. It's up. No good. A little long. Rebound goes to the Red Devils. 34 kind of trapped in there. Ball stolen away by Kaiser Jackson. He's going to be fouled. And I don't know where they're going to call it on the floor or... There's Mr. Yellow Shoes down there tonight. Did you see? Him? Terry Bolden's got them yellow Crocs on down there tonight. I ain't got any yellow ones on tonight. Kaiser Jackson and the Red Bay Tigers lead 20 to 2 as Kaiser gets a free throw. Appreciate the Mason jar on Maine making the game possible today. Don't forget that the seafood Friday night. Free throw, no good. Kennedy on the dish off from Braden Ray, and Kennedy gets his 10th point of the game. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Violet still going to have it. Twenty-two to two. 
Viner drive it in. Shot up, good fake, makes the basket and draws the foul. Good job there by number 34, Dawson Miller, getting his fourth point of the ball game. He'll go to the free throw line. That makes it 22 to four. Twenty-two to five now. It's a free throw. Good. Here come the Red Bay Tigers. Anderson. Left side to Bays. Kennedy on the left elbow. Down to Ray. Back to Bays. Bays the long three. Good. That's Gage Bays right there. Making it twenty-five to five. Braden Party, you back into the game for. Phil Camel, we got a foul, a blocking foul. I guess number 22, Kaiser Jackson. Making it flicker, I guess you were bumping it or something. No, I'm 25 to five. Phil Camel. Finally gets it in to Braden Party. Braden shoots the long shot right side up and no good. Rebound, Braden Ray's got it. And the Tigers knock it out of bounds. Still doing it? <laughs> no. I'm just making sure there's all in there. Twenty-five to five. Vina will have it. Number thirty-four will do the inbound. That foul against uh, Kaiser Jackson is second. Tigers get a steal on the inbound. Kennedy, Kennedy missed it, got it, and put it up again. No good. And uh, finally, the third try, and he gets it. Uh, Kennedy's got uh, twelve points of the game. Red Bay steals it again to Kennedy. Up good. He's got 14 points of the game. 29 to five. And that ball hit the backboard as it belonged to Red Bay. Schubert and McKinney will check into the ball game. Ray and Kennedy will check out. And we got a foul against the Red Bay Tigers, and Phil Campbell, rather Vanna, will get it back. That foul's against 32 for Red Bay. That's McKinney getting the foul. Weatherford with the basketball. Weatherford trapped there, finally gets it. Out of there to number 34. Down in the corner, the long shot up and good by number 22. That's uh, Mr. Aaron Gann getting the nice three point basket. That'll make it 29 to eight. Long shot by Schubert, up no good. McKinney with it, McKinney goes up. We're gonna have a jump ball. Number three into the ball game. They ain't even got a three on here now, Randall. We got this. Uh, I think from the assistant coach may have brought it to us. Randall, you know who number three is? And the turnaround shot, no good. 22 with a rebound. Again, there's Weatherford with the wall. Weatherford, pretty good ball handler there. Dribbling in traffic and the ball Knocked loose, but a foul against the Tigers. Huh? You're supposed to know all these folks. Twenty-nine to eight. And the shot is up. No good. Good try there by Mr. Dawson Miller. Don't forget, a few folks from Vina would like to get a copy of tonight's game. They're available on DVD. Long shot. 
three point range by Mr. Dawson Wright. You can get this game on DVD. You'll have two games on it. You'll have that Red Bay girls game. Well, Phil Campbell and you have the Red Bay boys and Vina boys. You know, win or lose or draw. It's a great keepsake for you kids out there playing and on television. Long shot by Vina, no good. Good hustle to the rebound there. From Mr. Gann, the ball knocked out of bounds by Schubert. And looks like we got a timeout with 240 to go in the first quarter. Red Bay 32, Vina 8. Semi-final action here tonight on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thirty-two to eight, two forty to go in the first half. Weatherford of the ball down in the corner. Ray guarding him awful tight there. Gets it back out. McKinney might have got away with a foul there, and there's a shot up a little bit too high. And that will be a violation. We we'll appreciate uh, the Mason Jar on Main. Don't forget uh, Friday night seafood night. Anderson with the ball. Dr. Jim Neighbors and his staff. Anderson goes for the layup. It's up good. Nobody picked Mr. Jaden up, and here comes Vina. Long shot up and no good. Red Bay Tigers have got it. Good rebound there by Schubert. Don't forget you can check out all the information on upcoming activities in the Red Bay area at redbaysports.com. Vina with the basketball. Down the lane, 34 is down it, puts it up good. Great job, Dawson Miller. Dawson has got seven points in the game. Long shot up by the Tigers. Guess who got that one? Mr. Dawson Wright knocking down the three. That makes it 37 to 10. 37 to 10, Red Bay on top. Vina. Number 23, Elijah Whitfield. Driving in there, Weatherford shot up, no good. Rebound, Anderson's got it. Anderson goes to the corner to right. Back to Schubert. Schubert turnaround shot. Good. Lane Schubert with another basket. He's got a half a dozen. All Red Bay here in the first half. 39 to 10. The score 39 to 10. Coach number 32 was old Braden Pardew. And my wife used to work with Candace. And of course I know the whole family there for a long, long time. And pretty good crew. Every side of that family. 39 to 10. Y'all don't tell anybody I said that. Thirty-nine, ten. We got a Red Bay Tigers are going to have it. Foul against twenty-three. Uh, Elijah Whitfield. Anderson will do the inbound. There's Ray with the basketball, right side. Three-point shot, left side, no good. Rebound, Mr. Braden Ray's got it. Five seconds to go. Here comes Weatherford. And that will be the end of the first half. Red Bay led 19-2 uh, to two at the end of the first quarter. Now lead 19-10. to 10. We're at halftime. This is Red Bay Tiger and Vina. 
Junior High Basketball. We're live at the Franklin County Tournament on this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Vida will get the ball to start the second half, and the ball gets away and out of bounds. Appreciate to your hometown Piggly Wiggly making the game pharmacy tonight to long win. Cash and thermal plastics, and of course, Sunshine Mills and Mike Schubert. Red Bay Tigers take the ball inside. Missed it coming back out there's Ray. Ray, nice little move, couldn't go. And Weatherford comes up with the basketball. Thirty nine to ten, thirty nine to ten. And the ball loose on the floor across the way. And the ball is going to the Red Bay Tigers. Five minutes and 18 seconds to go. Thirty-nine to ten, taking it down low as Kennedy. His shot is up, is good, and he is fouled. Kennedy's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen points in the game. Just talked to the Hig man over at Belmont. Four big games, Belmont and Alcorn Central. All those games that start at 4 o'clock tomorrow at Alcorn Central. Saturday will be live in Oxford, Mississippi, at Lafayette County High School. There's an Oxford City School, and they're close by is Lafayette County High School. That's where we're going to be, Lafayette County. Boys and the Red Bay Tiger Boys are going to be playing at 3.30. The Red Bay and Lafayette County girls playing at 6.30. Forty two to ten. And the Red Devils turn that ball over. Good hustle in the backcourt there by Mr. Peyton Allison. Bays drives in and puts it up good. Good job by Gage, his fifth point of the ball game. Forty four to ten with four thirty seven to go. Don't forget to check out all the sports information in the Red Bay area. Go to redbaysports.com, redbaysports.com. Shot up no good. 
Red Bay with a rebound. Kaiser Jackson. Back to Gage. Gage a three. It's up and good. Gage says, give it to me. Eight points for the Bays, man. And a steal by the Red Bay Tigers. Ray takes it in. Shot good. And he's fouled. Good job there by Mr. Braden Ray. And the Ray free throw is up and no good. That foul, by the way, was against uh, number 10, Hayes Weatherford. 49 to 10, the score. Speaking of Weatherford, he's got it. Long three point shot, right side, no good. By Elijah Whitfield. Lobbing that ball down to Kennedy. Kennedy puts it up, no good, gets his own rebound, kicks it back to Ray. Ray takes that ball in, no good. Kennedy's got it, has it stripped away. And now vina has got it on the floor, and there's going to be a foul uh, against the Red Bay Tigers. Forty nine to ten the score. Tigers bringing in a lot of new faces. Forty nine to ten Vina will bring it down that last foul against uh, Kennedy. Tigers in a little zone defense. Number two shoots the shot up and no good. That's Mr. Peyton Allison. And we got a whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Going to the line to be Braden Party. Braden wears number 32 for the line of Red Devils. 42 to 2. And the free throw is up by Braden is no good. And the free throw by Braden is up and good. That'll make it 49 to 11. Tigers into Schubert. Schubert's shot is up. It is good. Schubert's got eight points. 51 to 11. Today's game brought to you by CBNS Bank, Mary Ellen Allen and the staff, along with Grace Long Real Estate, the Red Bay Gas and Water, also on a broadcast, along with Franklin Electric. Big star and also Dr. Jim Neighbors, this staff at the Neighbors Clinic in Red Bay. Long shot, right, no good. Rebound, save back in, and the Vina Red Devils got it. Mr. Lawler got that ball. Now the shot up on the other end, no good. Rebound goes to McKinney. Red Bay will bring it down. Taking that ball inside, McKinney. Good move to the basket. Kim. Fifty three to eleven with a minute and forty seven seconds to go. Shot up Bavana. No good. Rebound Schubert's got it, had it stripped away, but Bays has got it, and he'll be fouled by Mr. Weatherford. And the shot up in the corner. Oh, Dawson Wright's been lighting it up. He's got a couple of threes and a two. Got eight points unofficial. The reason I say unofficial because I possibly could miss one. 56 to 11. Long shot up and no good. Rebound by a put back. No good. And this time a McKinney rebound. 
Bays bringing it down. Good defense there by the Peyton Allison. There's Anderson thinking about a three. He'll pull it up, go to McKinney. Now Vina will bring that ball up. And the Tigers get a steal. Schubert got it. Dawson right back to base. Anderson. Anderson shoots the three. No good. Rebound. McKinney got it. McKinney to Schubert. Schubert puts it up good. Schubert's got 10 points in the game. And Red Bay leads 58 11 with 25 seconds to go. Hope you enjoyed the coverage here from the Franklin County Tournament semifinals. Your finals are on Saturday. Long shot, three point range from Mr. Peyton Allison. Good job, Peyton. 58 14, four seconds to go. McKinney, free throw line shot, and we've played three quarters. 58 to 14. Red Bay Tigers lead today's game brought to you by Dickey Spark CPA firm. Runny Cook, your modern woodman agent, and don't forget the Mason Jar on Main making this game possible here tonight. Long shot, up and good. Number 23 got him a three-pointer. That's Elijah Whitfield. Good job, Elijah, 58 to 17. Red Bay into McKinney. McKinney the turnaround. And a foul. Looks like they're gonna let the clock run here in the fourth quarter. Free throw is no good. Rebound, Vine has got it. Rebound there by Mr. Dawson Miller. Weatherford. Right side to Elijah, back over to the left side over here to Davidson. Over to Braden. 44 puts his shot up, no good. And the rebound goes to the Red Bay Tigers with 4.36 to go. Schubert inside the lane. Kicks that ball back out. There's Mr. 22 shot up no good. That's Mr. Kaiser Jackson. And Schubert driving that baseline, putting it up good. Schubert's got a dozen points in the game and the Red Bay Tigers Lead 61 to 17, 61 to 17. Bonner with a turnover there and Red Bay will bring it down. And the basket by the Tigers, who got that one? I think McKinney got it. I was writing something down here on the sponsor list. You found out that number three is Nathan Bird, right? Yep. And 
And number 23 at the free throw line shot up good. I believe Malik Fletcher just checked into the ball game. And that is correct. Uh, also number one just checked into the ball game. That's Malachi Fletcher. Number 12 into the ball game for Vina is Nick Humphreys. And the Tigers Schubert with a basket up. Good. Red Bay 65 to 19. Sixty five to nineteen with two oh eight to go. Red Bay with a basketball. And the McKinney, McKinney off the glass, no good. Anderson got it. Anderson put it up no good. He's foul. And he'll go to the line to shoot with a minute forty five and the clock running. Anderson's free throw is up and no good. He'll have another one coming. Once again, once again, the Mason jar on Main. Don't forget on Friday night, seafood night. And we got a timeout with a minute 21 to go. The Red Bay Tigers leading it 65 to 19. Anderson will have another shot coming here. And the Red Bay Tigers got a steal there. There's number three, Mr. Bird, back in that ball game. Nathan Bird. I saw, I believe, Mr. Bird's sister earlier. Glad to see the Bird family here tonight. 66 to 19, the Red Bay Tigers are going to be fouled there with 44 seconds to go. And we've got another timeout. So while we got a little break in the action, don't forget the finals are coming up Saturday morning starting at 10 o'clock. So Red Bay will get it. Down to 21 seconds to go. Tigers just pass it around. And we have got a foul against Weatherford.
And that is going to be the ball game. The Red Bay Tigers are going to win it 66 to 19, and that'll put the Red Bay eighth grade boys in the finals to join the Red Bay girls in the finals. So a couple of teams from Red Bay in the finals. Appreciate the great effort by the Red Bay Tigers and the Vina boys as well. The coaches, thank you all. Thank you, fans, for coming out to this game tonight. That is going to wrap up a broadcast for this evening. Once again, your final score, Red Bay wins it 66 to 19. This is the Franklin County Tournament, and we're live in Red Bay. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy, 256-356-4458. That's 256-356-4458. Good night from Red Bay on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And don't forget to listen to us on the brand new 97.9 FM, your classic oldie station.